rear wheel drive, 402 horsepower, and 443 pound-feet of torque. No, it's not a new supercar. It's the BYD BD11 double-decker bus. BYD says this new all-electric bus was specifically designed for London and is expected to enter service later this year, replacing the Routemaster. It comes equipped with a massive 532 kilowatt-hour battery, 457 kilowatt hours usable, delivering a real-world range of over 400 miles. But don't worry, it won't take a week to charge. Thanks to its 500 kilowatt charging capability, the advanced blade battery can be charged from zero to 100 percent in just two hours. Dual motors on the rear axle provide that impressive power output, and active air suspension allows the driver to adjust the ride height based on passenger load. The BD-11 can carry up to 90 passengers and, unlike the original new Routemaster, features opening windows on the upper deck to help keep things cool in the summer. The bus measures 35.8 feet long and 8.4 feet wide, and it's packed with advanced safety technology, including forward collision warning, blind spot monitoring, and driver drowsiness and attention alerts. BYD is committed to technological innovation and leading the global shift toward eco-friendly public transportation, said Frank Thorpe, Managing Director of BYD UK Commercial Vehicles. The BYD BD11 will play a crucial role in reducing air pollution in London and, soon after, supporting the UK's broader carbon neutrality goals. You'll be seeing this bold boxy machine in London soon, before a version designed for the rest of the UK rolls out nationwide. X X the BYD BD11 bus uses a 532 kilowatt hour blade battery, lithium iron phosphate, LFP. BYD states that this battery has a 10 year, 80% SOH, state of health, warranty as standard. This indicates that the battery is designed to retain at least 80% of its original capacity for a decade. LFP batteries are known for their high durability and safety. The bus is designed for a theoretical range of around 640 kilometers, 400 miles, on a single charge. It's noted that most London buses travel between 100 and 200 miles a day, so the BD-11's range is more than sufficient for typical urban operations. M maintenance Schedule while specific detailed maintenance schedules for the BYD BD-11 bus were not found in the provided search results, here's what we can infer about its maintenance and general best practices for electric vehicles like this. Close quote. Reduce traditional maintenance. Electric buses generally require less maintenance than their diesel counterparts. They have fewer moving parts, no engine oil changes, no fuel filters, and less wear on brake pads due to regenerative braking. Battery management. The integrated thermal management system in the BD-11 helps optimize energy utilization and battery health by managing the cooling systems of the motors, battery, and heat pump. This is crucial for extending battery life. Charging practices. The bus supports rapid charging up to 500 kilowatts via a pantograph or dual gun charging, allowing a zero to 100% charge in two hours. While fast charging is convenient, regular use of rapid charging can sometimes impact long-term battery degradation. However, LFP batteries are generally more robust to fast charging cycles compared to other lithium ion chemistries software and electronics. As a modern electric vehicle, there will be maintenance-related mechanical components. Standard bus mechanical components like tires, suspension. The BD-11 has an active suspension control system, which may have its own maintenance requirements. Steering and braking systems will still require regular inspections and maintenance as per manufacturer guidelines. The provided information also mentions safety features like Advanced Emergency Braking System, AEBS, Driver Drowsiness and Attention Warning, DDAW, Blind Spot Monitoring, BSM, 
Forward Collision Warning, FCW, and Intelligent Speed Assistance, ISA, which would need to be checked for proper function. Manufacturer guidelines. The most accurate and detailed maintenance schedule would be provided by BYD in the official owner's manual and service documentation. How does the BD-11 compare in size and passenger capacity to other London buses like the Routemaster? The BYD BD-11 and the new Routemaster both prominent double-decker buses gracing the streets of London share remarkably similar footprints while showcasing a pivotal shift in public transport technology. In terms of dimensions, the new Routemaster is marginally longer at 11.232 meters compared to the BD-11's 10.9 meters, a difference of just over 30 centimeters. Conversely, the BD-11 holds a slight edge in width, measuring 2.55 meters to the Routemaster's 2.52 meters, and is also fractionally shorter at 4.3 meters against the Routemaster's 4.42 meters. These subtle differences in length, width, and height mean that both buses are designed to operate effectively within the tight confines of London's urban environment. Where passenger capacity is concerned, the BYD BD-11 generally offers a slightly higher maximum capacity of up to 90 passengers, encompassing both seated and standing room. The new Routemaster, by comparison, typically accommodates around 87 passengers, comprising specific allocations for seated passengers on both decks and standing room. This marginal increase in capacity for the BD-11 might be attributed to the inherent design advantages of an all-electric powertrain where the absence of a large internal combustion engine allows for more efficient interior space utilization, especially with the BD-11's integrated motor and wheel technology. However, the most significant divergence lies beneath their respective exteriors. The BYD BD-11 stands as a fully electric vehicle, drawing power from a substantial 532 kilowatt-hour blade battery, embodying the future of zero-emission public transport. The new Routemaster, while also forward-thinking in its design, operates as a hybrid diesel-electric bus, relying on a combination of a diesel engine and an electric motor. This fundamental difference in propulsion system marks the transition from a hybrid approach to a completely electric one, signaling the ongoing evolution of London's iconic bus fleet towards a more sustainable future. How does the active air suspension system adjust in real time? The BYD BD-11's active suspension control system, often referred to as a type of intelligent body control system by BYD, like their DISUS system for other vehicles, is designed to adjust the bus's ride in real time to optimize comfort, handling, and safety. Here's a breakdown of how active air suspension systems like the one in the BD-11 achieve real-time adjustment. Key components and their roles. Sensors. The system relies on a network of sensors that continuously monitor various parameters, including height sensors. Located at each wheel, these detect the vehicle's current ride height relative to the ground. Ex Accelerometers. Measure vertical acceleration of the vehicle body and potentially the wheels, indicating bumps, dips, and overall ride harshness. Wheel speed sensors provide data on vehicle speed which influences suspension response. Ste steering angle sensors inform the system about turns and cornering forces. Brake pressure sensors signal braking events which can cause nosedive. Lo load sensors detect changes in a vehicle's weight, for example, more passengers boarding or alighting,
which directly impacts the required suspension stiffness and height. Ele Electronic Control Unit, ECU. This is the brain of the system. It receives air springs. These act as the springs in the suspension, using compressed air to support the vehicle's weight. The ECU can adjust the air pressure within each air spring to modify its stiffness and the vehicle's height. Ele electronically controlled dampers, shock absorbers, with CDC, continuous damping control. Unlike traditional shock absorbers with fixed damping, these smart dampers have internal valves, often solenoid-controlled, that the ECU can rapidly open or close. By changing the flow of hydraulic fluid within the damper, the ECU can continuously vary the damping force, how much resistance the shock absorber provides to movement. This allows for instant adjustments to the softness or stiffness of the ride. Air Compressor and Valves An onboard air compressor supplies compressed air to the air springs. Electronically controlled valves manage the inflation and deflation of the air springs, allowing for precise height and stiffness adjustments. How Real-Time Adjustment Happens Continuous monitoring. The sensors constantly data analysis. The ECU analyzes this real-time data to understand the current road conditions, smooth, bumpy, cornering, braking, accelerating, and the vehicle's dynamic state, speed, load, body roll, pitch, heave. Optimal setting calculation. Using sophisticated algorithms, the ECU calculates the ideal damping force and air spring pressure needed for each individual wheel to achieve the desired ride quality and stability. For example, over a bump, the system might momentarily soften the damping and adjust air pressure to absorb the impact smoothly, preventing a harsh jolt. During cornering, the system can stiffen the outer suspension and soften the inner suspension to counteract body roll, keeping the bus more level and improving handling. Under heavy braking, it can stiffen the front suspension to reduce nosedive. With varying load, if passengers board, increasing the weight, the air springs will automatically inflate to maintain the target ride height and appropriate stiffness, preventing the bus from sagging. Actuator control. The ECU then sends immediate commands to the electronically controlled dampers and the air spring valves. In instantaneous response. These actuators respond almost instantaneously adjusting the damping force and air pressure in the springs. Modern systems can make hundreds of adjustments per second, making the changes imperceptible to passengers. Ben Benefits for the BYD BD-11 The BYD BD-11's active suspension control system uses electronically controlled air suspension and CDC shock absorbers to enhance ride comfort, stability, and safety. It adjusts in real time to road conditions, reduces body roll and pitch, maintains consistent ride height regardless of load, and includes a kneeling function for easier passenger access. This smart system ensures a smoother, safer, and more accessible ride, ideal for urban public transport. Urban